Welcome back to John's Films. Have you considered that Netflix needs to understand video encoder quality more than we do? Let's use their tools to figure out our quality. First, before we get started, I want to thank everybody for subscribing, as over the last nine months we've had huge growth on this channel, and I'm really thrilled to get over a thousand subscribers. So thank you for joining me. Now let's get into it. In 2016, Netflix published a paper that's of great interest. In it, they announced their new Video Multi-Method Assessment Fusion, VMAF. It's a framework that can be used to understand the quality of different video encoders. Now. How does this work? Well, they published it on GitHub. GitHub is a popular code repository for people to open source or expose their code to millions. In this case, in addition to the source code, they've enabled the VMAF framework by exposing it as a Python library, or C++ wrapper, or even a static library for C or C++ code. However, the easiest way to handle this and be able to run it yourself is to use what's called a Docker file. Docker is a container management system that allows you to run containers or think of them as small environments inside your Windows machine so that you can replicate other operating systems or other instances of Windows. In this case, I've instantiated a Docker container. Now that I've got my environment set up, which I did have to install FFmpeg and change a config file for VMAF because I intend to use H.264 and H.265 encoded video. The VMAF tool works on YUV video, and so you have to convert it first. But because I'm using the exact same encoder, I don't anticipate any uh, quality, quality drop relative to each other. To run the tool, I'm able to say FFmpeg to VMAF, and I input the resolution that I'm measuring, 3840 by 21. Then I'm going to use the input files that I've mapped using my Docker command here. For the input file and the output file, this outputs a ton of data, and it takes quite a while because it is first encoding from H.264 to YUV. And then it's comparing the resulting YUV file to the YUV file that was generated for the input file. At the end, it outputs a video uh, perception score as to what it feels the video quality is. How did Netflix figure out what they wanted this video quality to be? Well, back in their original blog, they describe how they took real people and sat them down in front of a TV at 1080p resolution and later with 4K viewing to understand the amount of noise that these people saw or perceived in the videos. They have their own sample library, and they had people look at the different encoding qualities that they showed them on the screen and rate them on a scale of 1 from terrible to 5 great. They then did this across many people and normalized it so that they all had a score of 100 if it was perfect and 0 if it wasn't. They then used that to predict the coming score uh, for any video and wrote an algorithm that determines based on the amount of noise and blockiness, etc. you see in the video, what a human might actually think about it. Now I'm going to run the VMAF against three files. The first will be a native encoded, that CPU encoded, DaVinci Resolve output file in H.264. And then I'll use the NVIDIA hardware encoder in my graphics card to create H.264, and then to create H.265. And I'll compare those three back to the original file and see which one holds up in quality best. As you watch this run, I'll note you do this at home. It's a good chance to uninstall a lot of software on your machine, make sure your patches are up to date. It takes a while. A hearty welcome for those of you that scrubbed ahead for the results. The higher score is better here, a score of 100 would be perfect. The H.265 encoded by the NVIDIA graphics card wins in quality with a 90.59. 
it isn't much of a difference between that and the 264s, but what's telling about this is when we get into the file size, which is pretty much the same as well. So what's the cost? Well, when it comes to time showing up on the bottom, you'll see that it is much faster. And every render I've ever done with the NVIDIA GPU for H.265 has been significantly faster than the renders that are done with either the native CPU or with the GPU. This means I can confidently use the H.265 encoding for the speed, but also knowing I'm not sacrificing quality. Well, there you have it. H.265 rendered across my Turing NVIDIA graphics card. Best quality, fastest render, average file size. Looks like the best choice for me. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to catch more of this. Thank you to everybody that got me to a thousand subscribers. And I look forward to more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.